This is some terrible news because I just learned that climate change is actually threatening cocoa production, which means less chocolate for people who love it like me, and that changes everything. So I've come to Dandelion Chocolate in San Francisco to talk to someone who deals with chocolate production firsthand. Hi, I'm Greg Dallasander. I'm the chocolate sorcerer here at Dandelion Chocolate. What that means is I travel around the world finding cacao that we use to make our chocolate. So first, let me tell you, right when I walked into the place, the aroma, the chocolatey aroma hit me like a ton of bricks. I'm having an emotional moment right now. But what's making it more emotional right now is the bitter forecast my chocolate sorcerer is giving me about the future of chocolate. People don't think of climate change as something that they have to worry about. This is the cocoa pod that grows on the tree and in it are the beans that actually have the chocolate. So these are the bad boys that are in danger by climate change. If it impacts cacao farmers in Belize, it impacts you. A world without chocolate is a miserable, miserable place that none of us want to imagine. All over Central America, people have been telling us their fathers and grandfathers and great-grandfathers never had seen weather acting this way. The rainy season, which usually ends at a very defined time, now suddenly has extended much longer. So this is a crop they've been working on their whole lives, and it's possible it's gonna go away. How could you stand here and just like, not drool. Yeah, that's not very healthy. I could just sit here and watch this all day. I literally feel like a kid in a, in a candy factory. Happiness. Just a lot of happiness. All of these changes that are affecting the farmers cost money. We end up spending more money on the beans, and if we end up spending more money on the beans, that means our chocolate ends up going up in price too. I can't imagine a world where this would be more scarce or more expensive. It's just not fair. It's it's a bummer. I mean, like, this is something I deal with all the time, right? And it's like, it really is. How would we deal with breakups or hormonal fluctuations or, or general sadness? I don't want to have to think about that. I'm hoping I'll never be around for the moment when there's no chocolate left.